But Squish, tell me where you at your motivation guy is back. Your friend, the one and only Keith Allen, here to make you guys like the best Fortnite player you can possibly be, but you gotta believe it for yourself, all right? Today, we're gonna be talking about little known things that you can find or do in Fortnite. You know, season two may have been out for a few weeks now, but there is still so much left to uncover and so much that gets added that we just have to just try to cover it all. So let's get started, shall we? But before we do, you already know what time it is. It's time to get my favorite candy. What is that, y'all? It's that bunch of crunch. Yo, and let's get this going. All right, so one thing every Fortnite player needs to keep an eye out for is loading screens. Sure, I mean, they seem purely, you know, decorative to the untrained eye, but for those of us who have just been part of the Fortnite community for a while now, we know that there are plenty of secrets inside for us to discover. All right, so the page three loading screen on the battle pass before the strike has plenty of tiny little Easter eggs from Fortnite pass, such as, you know, the leftover UFO from the invasion arc last chapter. And so if you guys look closely, there's also a large skeleton of what appears to be a dead clown. Clombo buried underneath. And so with the disappearance of Clombos, many fans have been wondering if we're gonna ever see them again, but this loading screen hints that there are dead Clombos buried underneath the ground. Sounds kinda sad, right? No Clombos? Well, there actually might be another secret which offers another answer. All right, let me ask you this, man. You guys need help avenging Clombos by eliminating everybody else in the room than yourself? Click on the link below and visit ProGuys.com to discover the latest pro strategies for this season's meta. Get a head start on the competitive season by getting in touch with our pros who can eliminate your hidden potential. Become a better strategist, master your mechanics, and learn what it means to become a Fortnite pro. Okay, so as we mentioned before, Clombos have been missing for quite a while. You know, one of the theories so far has been that Clombos were taken by the IO and kept hostage in vaults. However, one little detail that you might not have stumbled across yet is a little patch of snow near the seven bays to the top left of the map. Coming here will give you progress towards a secret quest line. The tagline for this secret quest is, are they hibernating or are they hiding? This actually opens up a few doors for the future. Perhaps the Clombos were never taken by the IO during their invasion. Perhaps they just simply went into hiding like many animals do when they sense danger. But are they hiding from the IO? Or is there something else that we should be watching out for? So one thing that you might not have noticed right away is a little feature that torches have. Uh, you can use torches for a variety of things that you probably already know about. First off, like you can repair vehicles and metal walls with these. You also light certain structures on fire if you hold the repair too close to the surface. However, repair tools can only be used a finite number of times before you eventually just run out of gas and need to find a new one. Luckily, there seems to be an abundance of them scattered around the map. But if you find yourself in a jam and need some extra fuel for your torch, you can always use the gas station to refuel it. Yeah, that's right. Like you don't necessarily need to get rid of the tool. This same rule also applies for gas cans, which can actually be refueled if you visit a gas station. This is just another minor detail not many people notice unless they tried it. All right, now it's time for the question of the day. What's your favorite drop spot and why? Leave a comment below and share your strats, all right? Who knows, perhaps you're gonna learn something new. All right, so anybody remember Guzzle Juice? We sure do. I mean, it was a pretty interesting healing item that allowed us to patch up on the go and just consider how much movement we've had in season one. It made everything so much easier, right? This season, you may have noticed the absence of this healing item while you fight off enemies on the island, but uh, don't worry, Epic got you covered. For a while, okay, we've seen plenty of Chug Splash looted from coolers, and, and if you don't already try to loot these things, you definitely should. One thing some people haven't really noticed yet is that the coolers are now a great source of floppers for those of you that don't wanna take time to fish. You're gonna find these green floppers tucked away for someone to find and they make for some really, really fast heals when you're in the jam. All right, let's talk about tanks, shall we? Tanks are roaming in key locations that IO still has control over. Tanks can be like really fun to play around with if you manage to get inside one, but you know, they aren't as much fun when you're being chased down by another player inside of it. <laughs> and so while many players choose to destroy tanks outright to get them out of the way, many of them don't even notice the tiny flap on the front of the vehicle. This flap can actually be destroyed by aiming directly at it and just doing so will reward players with a peek at the driver. From here, you can eliminate your opponent with your sharp shooting skills so you can just claim the tank for yourself without wasting too much time just trying to repair it and get it moving again. Now, if you're looking for a super secret tip that might help you out in the comp, all right, we got you covered. Don't try this at home, but using cannons have been a great way of traveling from one location to another. However, did you guys know that there is a way to supercharge your launch? This interesting combo was recently discovered when players realized that shooting themselves directly at an IO launch pad will get you some serious air time. All right, so this is useful for launching yourself further than you've ever gone before, though you're gonna have to practice your aim to really make sure you launch yourself in the right direction. 
the IO have been working hard to take control of the island and they've left their mark wherever they go. All right, so from taking over POI to leaving burn remains where fights took place, but you know, there's something more subtle going on around the island and it takes a sharp eye to really notice it. For this secret, guys, you're gonna wanna take a look at the command cavern and the secret vault. There is this much speculation, right, about what is currently in there, but one cool detail Epic has added has been a variety of earthquakes that have shaken the map from time to time. If you take a closer look, you're gonna see that these earthquakes have left a mark across the map as they occur, and strangely, they seem to be leading towards the monster bones near Tilted. Perhaps those earthquakes aren't natural, but rather the IO digging a tunnel to get from one place to another. All right, so one thing that has been pretty easy to miss, unless you're just following the story, is the current division in the Fortnite island. As the IO and the Seven fight it out, you know, they claim certain parts of the island for themselves. And so with this division, red areas signify IO controlled space, while anything within the blue circles are controlled by the Seven. You might have noticed, but the battlefield is shifting as the Seven have recently been able to take back the Daily Bugle. As the season progresses, we're sure to see the Seven claim more and more territory, but who knows what the IO have up their sleeves for the final battle. In the meantime, the war is still raging on and a new POI is now the center of the conflict. I'm talking about Condo Canyon and just like the Daily Bugle, the Seven and the IO are currently fighting it out, which means that this is the location you're gonna to wanna to focus on if you wanna collect some good loot as the chaos ensues. All right, so we've talked before about the secret vent rooms within the command cavern. These hidden rooms can be found by exploring the vents and each one pertains to Midas crew from way, way back. Yes, that's right, guys. If you remember Ghost, then you should definitely know Midas was the head of this faction. Interestingly enough, the logo for Ghost has been reused after the seven were able to reclaim the Daily Bugle. We know that Midas is a fan favorite character and having him return would only be fitting, right? However, this is not the only thing to look forward to and this next one could be the start of something bigger. All right, so at the end of the last chapter, we examined the many glyphs that exist in the world of Fortnite. Like we saw these glyphs which Raz studied and eventually rediscovered them when the cubes began to infect the island. Eventually, the cube queen arrived on the island in an attempt to take it. It seems that the glyphs always herald something much bigger to come. And in chapter three, season two, this hasn't changed. All right, so there are some subtle moments where we see the glyphs make an appearance and it all begins with Doctor Strange. Okay, so if you pay close attention to this magic, you're gonna notice that the glyphs are written on this spells. It might just be a small detail added for effect, but this isn't the only place where their influence comes into play. So you might not have noticed, but for this season's battle pass, there are some interesting items that further expand the cube lore. First off is the origin who can first be unlocked on page seven of the battle pass. All right, but what you probably didn't notice is that the origin could in fact be the cube king. Even his harvesting tool, back bling and contrail are all cute things. Most damning of all guys is his loading screen tilted, fallen kingdom, which shows his transformation from the cube king into one of the seven. And so with so much emphasis on cubes, could we be seeing them eventually return in some shape or form? Well, I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see. But before we wrap things up for today, don't forget to check out ProGuys.com for some pro level coaching. You are guaranteed to improve no matter what skill level that you're into with. But your question on me, where you at? Your motivation guy is back, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Listen, I hope you guys like the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And, uh, you know, we definitely just want to see what you guys are more interested in learning more about. You know, we love to hear from you. Remember, in the coming weeks, many things can really change in an instant. So just keep a lookout for clues. You might be able to predict what Epic has in store for us in future updates. Hey, once again, I'm your boy, Keith Allen. Make sure to connect with my Instagram at your motivation guy. I'll see you soon. Peace.